In less than two months, Nintendo will release the Switch, its follow-up to the disastrous Nintendo Wii U console. The system itself cannot come soon enough as Nintendo has been hemorrhaging from losses. According to the most recent earning report, the company that once identified itself as being a video game-centric company, announced an operating loss of $48.7 million. Anyways, the new hardware certainly looks more promising than the Wii U. The Switch's hybrid console, slash, portable concept, promises a future in which players race in Mario Kart 8 and battle in Splatoon 2, whenever and wherever they like. But on March the 3rd, it has become abundantly clear that, aside from The Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild, there will be a handful of extremely disappointing titles available. These titles include 1, 2, Switch, Skylanders, Tetris, Super Bomberman, and Has Been Heroes. A few games like Bomberman, will somewhat be fun, but certainly not worth the outrageous selling price of $50 to $60. 1, 2, Switch interestingly enough was meant to be a Wii U game, but after many delays, the title was tweaked so it could also release on the Switch. Shortly after the event, an unofficial list of launch games circulated on Twitter. The list largely consists of the Ubisoft games that seem to appear at every console launch. Rayman Legends, which has been given to gamers for free via the games with Gold and PlayStation Plus programs, Just Dance 2017, and Tipar accompanied a handful of other either extremely old or lame games. What's clear, however, is that there is a disappointing lack of depth with this console's release. Many of the games on this page are already available elsewhere, and have been for years. Skyrim has been available for years and on numerous consoles, but won't hit the Switch until, Fall, 2017. Mario Kart 8 is currently available on the Wii U, but won't be released until April. Perhaps you've been waiting decades to play Street Fighter 2. You'll need to wait a little longer, because it's to be determined. Meanwhile, Nintendo's mascot Mario won't appear in a new adventure until Super Mario Odyssey is released in at the end of 2017. Nintendo itself hasn't yet provided a clear launch list. But unless it's hiding some big surprise announcements, the Nintendo Switch's launch will be The Legend of Zelda Show, with a slow drip of garbage games following deep into 2017. That will not be enough, even for the most casual of gamers. For newcomers, it's a confusing, unpromising strategy. In comparison, both the Wii and the Wii U seem to have had much bigger launch titles. When the Wii was released on November 14, 2006, it had a total of 21 titles that were available for pickup alongside the console in North America. Aside from Wii Sports and Wii Resort, Games like The Legend of Zelda, Twilight Princess and Super Monkey Ball were all available to pick up on day one. Nintendo announced there would be 32 games available on day one when the Wii U launched on November 18, 2012. New Super Mario Bros. U, Zombie U, Skylanders Giants, Nintendo Land, Disney Epic Mickey 2 and sorry ports like Arkham City Armored Edition and Mass Effect 3 were just some of the titles players could choose from. Nintendo's North American 3DS also launched with 18 titles, including three first-party games, back in March 2011. Although there were more titles available, Nintendo caught flack back then for the lack of major titles, like Legend of Zelda or Super Mario installments. Ocarina of Time 3D, Star Fox 64, Kid Icarus, and new installments in the Mario Kart franchise were all slated for release throughout the year, but there was little for Nintendo fans at launch. One of the other notable differences between Switch's launch and the Wii or Wii U's is the lack of games that come bundled with the system. When the Wii launched, Wii Sports was packed in. When the Wii U launched, it came with Nintendo Land. 
Nintendo has confirmed that no games, including the lazy collection of mini-games title, 1, 2, Switch, would be included in the $299 package. Nintendo fans have already suggested the lack of bundle options is just another reason to delay a purchase, holding out the holiday season when the company may release a bundled version of the Switch with Super Mario Odyssey. There will be 35 titles released for the system between March and the holiday season, including a new Super Mario game, new Legend of Zelda title and original exclusives to the Switch. I repeat, only 35 games will be released between the launch of the tablet and the holiday season. The company confirmed it has only 80 third-party games in development for the console, and those would trickle out over the coming months and into 2018. As it stands now, there's absolutely no reason to purchase or pre-order the Nintendo Switch. The lineup is one of the poorest on record and the console is absurdly expensive. Be patient. Wait until it is clear that the system will be supported, then bite the bullet and purchase. Thank you for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you found this to be interesting, please like, share, and subscribe. While at it, post your thoughts on this and whatever else is on your mind below. If you like the social media thing, you can link to us via the standard allotted social sites in the description. Have a great day guys. Give me a bag of good and a bunch of twins Cause everyone too tough to be rocking like this So come on, shake the load up, shake come load up. on Shake loose, shake stress. I got a fist and yak and I can't miss my chance Cause shorty looking too good with the way she dance So come on, shake the load up, shake come load on Shake loose, shake stress. Write a tune with the mood I'm in Every day is a grind and I grind to win Can't play the violin so the sad song is over Plus the orchestra ain't taking applications from a soldier I'ma show you in the world too